Did you know that people worldwide value the establishment of new protected areas higher than economic aims? Did you expect citizens to favor education over the enactment of stricter laws to protect nature areas in their country? Moreover, 61% of the citizens from developed countries would reduce their meat consumption in order to save biodiversity, while 53% of the citizens from developing countries think that intensifying agricultural production on existing farmland would be a better strategy. These are just three of the results derived from the many data worldwide views on biodiversity collected on one single day all around the world. Uh, the whole idea behind Worldwide Views on Biodiversity is to give ordinary citizens a voice in the global negotiations and discussions uh, on biodiversity. On September 15, 2012, more than 3,000 citizens gathered at 34 sites in 25 countries for a day-long meeting about biodiversity. At each of these meetings, about 100 people engaged in deliberations and voted on the same set of questions. It's our responsibility, and as a small community where I live, I think I'll become very active. Yes, it affects me personally. Whatever changes that happen here, it's directly linked to my life. I think this topic must be more the öffentlichkeit I was impressed that it took into consideration human needs. So I think it's a big opportunity to, as a citizen, to be able to influence our politicians. Worldwide views on biodiversity contributes to the objectives of the United Nations Decade on Biodiversity and helps to achieve the Aichi Biodiversity Target Number One, that by 2020 at the latest, people are aware of the values of biodiversity and the steps they can take to conserve and use it sustainably. I'm very happy about the mood. My impression is that people are really discussing with each other. And what I heard from feedback, um, they are saying they are learning um, something new. Worldwide Views supports this target by inviting people to state their views on which policy measures need to be introduced in order to stop the decline in biodiversity. Good news for policymakers, 46% of the citizens at the Worldwide Views meeting said they had some knowledge about biodiversity before joining. An additional 19% already knew a lot. The loss of biodiversity in general greatly concerns most citizens. A good basis for the successful introduction of strong policy measures. However, while half the people in developing countries think their country is seriously affected by biodiversity loss, only a quarter of the people in developed countries think that their country is. This may prove to be a challenge for policymakers in developed countries. As markets, technologies and environmental issues become increasingly global in scale, so does policy making. The distance between ordinary people and policy makers increases, thereby diminishing the citizens' sense of ownership in decision making. New initiatives like worldwide views on biodiversity can help to bridge this widening democratic gap and there is a good reason to do so. So if you don't um, take a broad and open discussion with all these um, uh, ordinary people, uh, you, you, you will have a problem enforcing your decisions afterwards. Since 1986, the Danish Board of Technology has realized innovative citizens' consultation projects. In cooperation with the CBD Secretariat and the Danish Ministry of the Environment, the board decided to launch a new project in 2012. Worldwide views on biodiversity. The project has been coordinated by the Danish Board of Technology through financial support of the Government of Denmark and the Willem Foundation. The generous financial support of the Government of Japan has enabled worldwide coverage by supporting Worldwide Views meetings in 15 developing countries. The Worldwide Views meetings all followed the same procedure. Citizens deliberated in small groups on a set of questions carefully selected after consultation with policymakers and interest groups worldwide. 
The day was divided into four thematic sessions, each introduced by an information video. This video highlighted the most important part of the written background material sent to participants weeks in advance. At the end of each session, citizens voted individually. The results were instantly reported to the World Wide Views website and are available for comparison. We can compare poor and rich countries, we can compare different continents, we can compare results from young people around the world, the older people around the world, and so on. Worldwide, 93% of citizens think that incentives and subsidies leading to overfishing should be phased out. People in developed countries want this to happen quickly, while people in developing countries want to do it slowly. This tells policymakers to proceed with the phase out, but to do so with care. 97% of participants worldwide think that all countries should contribute to the protection of coral reefs. Interestingly, only 27% think that developed countries should pay the main part. 90% of participants worldwide support the creation of new marine protected areas in the high seas. Thus, there is public support for reaching a new international agreement. In order to collect trustworthy data, several standards had to be met. Citizens were selected with the aim of representing the demographic distribution in their country or region with regard to age, gender, occupation, education and other criteria. In order to make results comparable, it was also important that all participants receive the same information material. The information provided had to be neutral and balanced. A scientific advisory board helped to ensure this. Information videos in local language were produced and shown before each session at the citizen meetings. So that is another way also to, to help people who are not strong readers uh, understand the topic and what to do. Unlike opinion polls, the World Wide Views method provides respondents with balanced and scientifically based information. Citizens have the opportunity to deliberate for a full day with other citizens prior to rendering their judgment. It thus allows for more detailed questions and well-considered responses. The sample of citizens consulted in Worldwide Views is large and diverse enough to give a sense of general trends in national and international public opinion. Citizens are willing to share the cost of strong biodiversity policies, also in developing countries. 85% of the participants from these countries think that their countries should help pay for biodiversity protection, but that developed countries should pay the main part. There is general agreement that users of existing species collections should share the benefits derived from these resources with the countries of origin. Also, if they were collected before the Nagoya Protocol enters into force. However, support for this is not equally strong in developed and developing countries. There is also strong support worldwide for making users of genetic resources from the high seas pay a fee to global diversity in exchange for being allowed to use them. This points to a possible contribution to reaching the IG Target 20 of mobilizing financial resources. The votes were reported from each meeting via a newly developed web tool that binds the different meetings together and gives participants the experience of taking part in a global event. Also man hat sofort Einblick in die Daten, die andere Länder auch schon eingegeben haben, kann die mit den eigenen Ergebnissen vergleichen, kann eben schauen, wie in anderen Ländern die Ergebnisse sind, wo die Unterschiede sind. Und das macht die Sache eigentlich sehr spannend, weil es eben sehr, sehr schnell geht und die Technik funktioniert. As the results came in throughout the day, in-depth comparisons and analyses could commence and a results report prepared. Worldwide Views is an advanced example of collaborative democracy and an attempt to close the democratic gap between citizens and policymakers in global governance. It offers policymakers unique insight into the views of citizens on issues they need to make decisions about, and it provides them with information to inform future awareness-raising activities. 
Jeg, jeg tror på, at øh, netop sådan noget som FN og de der øh, overnationale instanser, øh, hvis de overhovedet skal have mulighed for at have forbindelse med befolkningen, så er det gennem sådan nogle metoder som det her. If you look across the votes from all participating countries, it is fair to conclude that public support for taking further political action in order to stop the decline in biodiversity is strong. The citizens express great concern over the loss of biodiversity, and this concern is clearly reflected in their strong support for protective measures at the expense of economic gains. They are willing to share costs for biodiversity protection and they support the expansion of international regulation of biodiversity and thus the extent to which burdens and benefits are shared. It will be interesting to see if citizen support for different policy measures to deal with the decline in biodiversity will change in the coming years. The CBD Secretariat has expressed its wish to have another worldwide views on biodiversity by the end of the UN decade on biodiversity, so that hopefully the worldwide views method will be further developed in the coming years.